Hello, it's Karen Berniston here with a video preview of the 11 new dies in our December 2022 release, and you can check out all of our die designs at karenberniston.com. What we try to do in every release is to have some of the dies really build on some of those foundation dies that came before. And one of our most popular foundation dies is our tiny house pop-up. So this pop-up die creates a little tiny house that will pop up inside a card. You choose your card size. It has all of those little accessories, even a stamping feature to add the shingles to the roof. And then you can start getting add-ons sets. So the mushroom tiny house add-ons is one that will add a mushroom roof to your tiny house, as well as some round windows and doors. We also offer haunted tiny house add-ons. So you're still using your tiny house for the structure of the house, but then what the add-on sets do is they give you all of the little accessories that can convert that foundation die into something else. There is a gingerbread tiny house add-on. So all of those little candies and things come in that set. And now in this release, we're adding two more add-ons sets, the doghouse tiny house add-ons and the church and school tiny house add-ons. There are 10 pieces in the doghouse tiny house add-ons that will add some new panels to the side of the house. They do have a stamping feature to add the slats. And then you get a lot of little accessories, including that cute little dog. With our dies, you choose your card size. So this card is a little bit smaller than this next one. I've also moved the doghouse further forward, changed out the colors, so you really do get lots of choices with these dies in how you decorate them. Then the other new set is our church and school tiny house add-ons. This set will add a second story to the tiny house, and then it has this charm holder that can hold a cross or two intertwined hearts for the church. There is a stamping feature, so the roof of the second story will match the one from the tiny house. Then there are a couple pieces included in the set that will make it into a school, including a bell charm for the top and a school sign for the front. And you'll notice that for this school card, I actually made it into a top fold card instead of side fold. So lots of choices you get to make. Our latest little character die is our new bookworm. And that works wonderfully with the school. So you can use it on its own, of course. Here he is on the front of this card. But when you are making those school cards, that bookworm makes a great little accessory. And I think that would be a fun card to receive, whether you're a student or a teacher. We have the new wedding charms as well in this collection. So that set is going to go really nicely with those church tiny house add-ons. But then, of course, they can be used on their own or with any of our other pop-ups as well. And when you don't want to use the elements as charms, you just trim off the charm holes at the top and they become standalone elements, as you can see in this great wedding card by Lois. Our two newest crosshatch shape dies are banners and hexagons. Okay, we already offer a woven basket box card, which makes this cute little square basket. It has all of those pieces you see there to put flowers and vines and things in it, the little rope handles. Or of course you can swap out and just put whatever you want in it. So in this one, I just swapped out and used some trees and deer inside my woven basket box card. Now I taught a tutorial for how you could somewhat labor intensively make that double wide. And so now we have a die set to make that a much simpler process. So this is our wide woven basket box card. It really is kind of an add on set in that it only adds on the wide panel and weaving strips and the long strip of grass for your double wide baskets. And you're still going to use your base die, your woven basket box card for the short panels. You pick up all of the flowers and vines out of the base set because it only comes with a small strip of new flowers. Now it's not called an add-ons set because technically you can use it on its own. When you want to make big giant baskets, you do not need the other set. You can just use this set to make those wide sides four times around plus your long grass strips and then fill it with whatever you want. You know, So I've used the wedding charms here and some flowers. And if you keep your embellishments not too tall, you will actually be able to mail a wide woven basket in a number 10 business envelope like you would use for a slimline card. So you can combine both sets together to make a basket like this, or you can use just the wide woven basket to make the large one. Okay, we chose a fun and descriptive name for this next little pop-up. It is our BAM box pop-up. And it is so named because whatever you put on it just pops up, BAM! The die set includes two BAM boxes plus those fun octagonal shape dies. 
A rubber band is used to operate the band boxes and we do offer both the number 12 soft stretch, the same ones that we use in our ball dies, or the small number 8 firm stretch on our website. Now either one will work in the band box. Here's a cute card by Lois where she's used those hexagons on the front and then inside she has a bookworm on a BAM box just popping up there in the center of the card and she's used magnets to keep that card closed. Let's go back for a second to that woven basket box card. It comes out of the envelope, you expand it, and then it can be displayed. But you can also use BAM boxes with the woven basket box cards so that when it comes out of the envelope, it just opens automatically. So here's a cute woven basket box card made by Sue Small Kreider. She's used our new sports charms on this basket. And then because she's added BAM boxes in two opposite corners, when it comes out of the envelope, it actually opens automatically. So give it a try. It's just a fun surprise to have those baskets self-open using those little BAM boxes in the corners. And then there are two final dies in this release, the Surprise Cube pop-up and the Slider Box. The Surprise Cube also uses a rubber band, and either the number 12s or the number 8s will work in it. It pops up a 2-inch square cube, so quite a bit larger than the BAM box, the idea being that you would actually decorate the cubes and they would be the pop-up versus the BAM box where it's used to pop up something else. Here's one just saying, we make a great team using those new sports charms on the Surprise Cube. Just like with our ball dies, it's the rubber band that makes them pop up, so you can put them wherever they fit. A gusseted card is a great idea, plus a closure. They're also going to be great for photos. So here's a card, the card from the assembly video, Enjoy Paris, with all of those photographs from Paris put on the surprise cubes, stacked up along with a sign, and then a gusseted card with our flap and closure die set to keep the card closed. The surprise cube also works really nicely with the final die in this collection, which is our slider box. This makes such a cute little two-piece box, a drawer and a sleeve, and then all of the rectangles that you need to decorate all sides of those pieces are included as well. And you can fill that with candy or trinkets or love notes or a gift card, all sorts of things that you could fit in that little slider box. But one thing I bet you've already figured out you can fit in the slider box, and that is the surprise cube. So you can fit three decorated surprise cubes inside the slider box. And I mean, what a fun reveal to send that to somebody and then they slide it open and those boxes come flying out. Or here's another idea, sending a smile and then inside the surprise cubes are decorated with photos and it says miss you in the bottom of the drawer. So you can imagine sending that maybe to a grandparent with pictures of the kids or maybe it's going to be a little miss you card that you send to your kid away at college or summer camp. So lots of ways that you can use the slider box and the surprise cubes together. And there you have it, 11 new dies in our December 2022 release. Now we are shipping this week to stores, so you can check with them for availability. If you do not have a store in your area, you will be able to order from our website, karenberniston.com, starting December 12th, 2022. Thanks for watching.